Good morning. A pivotal moment in my life was when I met my wife, Judy Backus, and she agreed to marry me. A country boy with very little to offer was wed to a beautiful, gentle, and forgiving girl in his church. That was August 19, 1967. Who would you think was the priest that presided and tied the knot? One guess might be sitting to my right. Not only did he marry us, but he did a really good job. In fact, we're still married after 50 years. Guess you could say we're stuck like glue. I want to give you my sincere thank you to Father Burns for that. It seems like I've always been involved in some type of service and ministry. The children's and adult choir at the Ascension Church in Jeanette, serving in the United States Army, Cub Scout leader, Little League coach, Catholic Service Appeal campaigns, church council, cooking at the fish fries and picnics, church lockup crew, and helping with the St. Vincent of Paul Society with several initiatives. I never really thought about the connection between these activities and the message that Jesus Christ delivered to the world so many years ago. For me, in the last few years, something has changed. The light bulb of understanding Christ's message has grown from dim to much brighter and hopefully brilliant, God willing. My thoughts and understandings of this place, of my place in the world, has grown to where the gift of life from the Lord of all, the message that Jesus Christ brought to the world, and that tiny voice from the Holy Spirit, all has moved me to a different place. For me, this has meant that instead of looking inward for satisfaction and fulfillment, a new direction, much more powerful than ever, has been revealed. Out there, outside these walls, is where the tiny voice in my heart has taken me. Out there to serve and help, to care for our community family, serving our Lord Jesus Christ in this country. I feel now that since the gift of life was given to me, I should, not, I should and not waste that opportunity to deliver the message of Jesus Christ. Through my hands and heart, I no longer have a choice. It's clear to me this is where I belong. We have many opportunities in various ways to serve our church and community, to help those in need. I feel now is the time to take what we've learned from our pastors at the pulpit and turn the scripture into action. Some of you are already involved in various ministries here and in the community. Our church invites all to come, join in the gift of service, and sharing what time and talent each of you have. Are you ready to share your gifts? The commission I'm serving on is called Buildings and Grounds. Our task is to take Father Dan's ideas, along with the parish staff, and turn them into action. Some examples of what have been accomplished are, is the renovation of this altar behind me, enhancing the Stations of the Cross, replacing the baptismal fount, replacing the worn carpet with tile at the entrances, and also replacing a leaky roof. Other areas that have been touched is the upgrading of the gathering area, Albany's Hall floor tile and painting, and rebuilding the Albany's kitchen into a serving kitchen. Parking lot lighting upgrades and sealing of the asphalt parking lots all been accomplished. Some future considerations are replacement of the leaky skylights up above here in the church and providing greatly enhanced communications in the parish office, the church, and the halls. The addition of Wi-Fi, for example, will enhance our liturgy and worship ministries and also support the formation and evangelization efforts, especially for our children and young adult programs. I'm committed to the future of this church by finding ways to grow a new generation of leadership. Efforts must be made to make our children, young adults, and families the centerpiece of our future. If we commit to this goal, then they will have a place to grow in the love and knowledge of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to take the pamphlet at the end of the pew and share the parish prayer to the Holy Spirit with me. Come Holy Spirit, send down from above the fire of your love upon our parish. 
renew his passion and love to share the gospel with joy. I humbly come before you in prayer. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me. Give me the wisdom to know the spiritual gifts that you bestow upon me. Give me the courage to use these gifts in service to others. I ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank our pastor for allowing me to speak today. The members of the commissions will be available near the Welcome Center to answer questions and have the Guide to Ministry pamphlet available. This guy here. As a final thought, I offer a quote from St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa. And she said, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Thank you.